1802. After work. Finally done with the work. I'll go downstairs and eat something. Space to get up, left mouse button to interact. Well, turn off the laptop because... Save energy. When you can. I thought I could interact with the... Well, notes I have here. I can. Diary. The 1st, 3rd, 2024. Finally bought a house. It was rather cheap. I'm very lucky. The realtor was also very nice. It's a bit far from the city, but this won't be a problem since I work from home now. Oh man. Middle of nowhere. But we have street lights that's at least a little bit reassuring. In my opinion. Uh, the physics are a little bit strange if I just walk onto objects like that. But not that bad. Why can't I attack with the light switch? You'd think that'd be something you can do. No mirror before the sink. Oh well. Not a single mirror in the bathroom. Or maybe this one and I just can't make it out with how dark it is. Don't have a flashlight. Right mouse button to use the flashlight. Why can't I just turn on the lights? Face to get up. I thought I would interact with the controller. And another thing I can just walk onto. That's not strange at all. Uh... I have to duck to get through there? Strange. I could move into that corner, but I can't move out of that corner. More bathrooms? Also no mirror. This house freaks me out. Since I'm guessing I'm living alone. But it's furnished for multiple people. Oh well, downstairs. Or maybe there is more people living here. And they're just all gone right now. Ah, beautiful. Can I get run over? No, no secret ending of getting run over. Also, why do we have these dividers? Or whatever it's called in English. If we are completely alone here, there's no other house that we need to block the site from. Oh well. I don't know in which region this game is placed, so... Maybe it's normal there. Uh... Already forgotten what I need to do. I think I was hungry? Yeah, pizza. Left hand is full. Uh throw it away. Right mouse button to eat. Cue to drop. I should put this in the trash can. Perfect. Back to the flashlight. Phone. Oh, uh, phone, phone, phone. Hello. Who are you? Well, it was just breathing. Hi. Thank you for not just walking into my house even though the door was open. This is a game, so that courtesy is not normal. Hello. I heard that you moved into this house. Welcome to our neighborhood. Yes, that's right. Thank you. But it's not much of a neighborhood. I've taken a look and there is not a single other house in sight. I'm very happy that this house is occupied again. After the last owner went missing. The last owner went missing? Why didn't the realtor tell me about that? Oh, you didn't know. He went missing after saying he kept hearing noises and weird things were happening inside the house. Is that so? Did he try calling an exorcist? 
He thought that the house was haunted or something. I'm sure he was just joking. Haha. <laughs> so I should call an exorcist. Anyways, welcome again. Here's a gift for you. Bye. Thanks, bye. Oh, a flower. I could put this on the dinner table. Ah, oh, beautiful. Alright, now it's time to go for food shopping. Or something like that. I guess I need my car. No? Oh. I just get randomly teleported. That's normal. 2032. Food shopping. Why do I get these windows that look like they belong into some kind of secret agent mission? I should first throw the trash. Once again a game where I take my trash to the store to throw it away. That's strange. So strange. <laughs> Hi. Hey man, you got some money? I'm hungry. Yeah, here you go. <sighs> Thanks. No problem. You must be the new guy who moved into the haunted house, no? How do you know that? This is a small town after all. But be careful and don't trust anyone. Also, don't believe in fairy tales. Okay, thanks. See you around. Have a nice day. And please don't jump scare me again. Because... I didn't expect that one. And no, I couldn't have gone in from the other side. And where did you go to? Oh, you sat back down. Oh well. Boss is here. Okay, I should get some milk and rice. Interesting combination. I hope you don't want to eat them together. Got some rice. It's nice that the item was a little bit... Well, standing out. No, I just need to find the milk standing out. The shadows really make it hard to see in this game sometimes. There's the milk. Bam. Shopping done. What is with your face? It looks so small. And why does the world distort when I look at your face? Welcome. Let me know if you need anything. Where's rice and milk? Except I have it in my hands. Milk is on the shelf to my left. And the rice is on the shelf right opposite it. They are the only 3D ones, so shouldn't be too hard to spot. <gasps> oh, really? Thank you. Pick them up and throw them right in front of me on the counter. Sure. Interesting mechanic. And this store layout is so common in horror games. I really need to take a look and see if there's a free asset for a store. Because I'm really, really sure it's always the same store. Not that it's a bad thing, it's just something I've realized after playing so many horror games. You're done shopping? Yes, that's all. Okay then. You're new on this neighborhood, right? That's right, I bought a house. Ah, uh, I see. You bought that famous house. Just don't be scared if you hear or see things, haha. Huh? Here's your package. Come again. I'd rather not. You try to make me scared. And I just teleport randomly again. That's so normal. Fresh mark, forest. What am I doing in a forest? What is this? Where am I? I should keep moving. Yeah, but which direction? For a moment, when I was just... turning around, I thought this was a person or a monster thing. With the hands raised. Or like maybe a corpse split apart and hung onto the tree. But only for a moment. Okay, I can't even walk into one direction, so that makes it so much easier. 
still don't know how I ended up in this forest. I'm guessing it's just a nightmare. But you never know. Maybe I got abducted? Hi. Who are you? Where did you come from? 343. Night. Wasn't it... No, it wasn't always a place. The first one was after work, so... It's just a... Little descriptor. Okay. Just a bad dream. What was that sound? I should go check it out. Space to get up. You know... You shouldn't give me the same tip all the time. Let me just take a look here. Anybody outside? No. Would be a nice easter egg. To just have somebody standing outside the house in the middle of the night. Anybody in the closet wanting to come out? Well, I guess it's probably downstairs. And yes, I'm definitely living alone in this big ass house. That's furnished like multiple people are living in it. Nobody outside here either. Lame. What the hell is this? I better turn off the flashlight. Nope. Hey there, dude. You got caught. Try again. What the hell is this? I better turn off the flashlight. I need to get the shovel from the garage. Okay, finally a smart horror game protagonist that takes a raptor. Okay, now I should try to hit it from behind. Bam. You are dead. I win. Hallelujah. The police came and arrested the intruder. Turns out it was the general store owner. Uh, the neighbor and the realtor was also part of the scheme. They would make the house look like it's haunted and buy it for a cheap price and then sell back for a higher price and make profit. They were all arrested and I moved back to the city. Why would you move back if everybody involved was arrested? Why were you even moving out here? I know it was cheap, but... That doesn't really tell me anything. Oh well, let's see if there's anything else or if this is the complete end. Okay, it's the end. I have to say, this was a nice short little horror game. Everything worked quite well, except that you stepped onto some objects. And I quite enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment or subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!